In my last video, I talked about using a USB-C extension cable to play the switch on your TV outside of the dock, and I got several comments afterwards from people who were very passionate about just using screen protectors instead. So what did I do? I got one. And not just any old screen protector, the one that seems to be the most popular among screen protector enthusiasts. So here's my review of the Amfilm Tempered Glass Screen Protector by Tecmat. Screen protectors come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and not all are made equally. This one from Amfilm is tempered glass and claims to be scratch resistant, sturdy, clear, and most importantly, bubble free. If you're like me, the thing you fear most is getting air bubbles you can't get rid of, or dust trapped under the screen protector, causing bubbles. Well, Amfilm made it a point to make sure you took the necessary precautions to avoid the dust issue. For about 10 bucks, they give you two screen protectors, two sets of wet and dry wipes, a microfiber cloth, some dust removal hinge stickers, and a cardboard squeegee. Another thing that was recommended by the instruction manual and by many people on the internet was to apply the screen protector in a steamy bathroom so the dust doesn't float around. So that's what I did. After steaming up the bathroom, I laid out my materials and got to work. The first thing I did was open the wet alcohol wipe and wipe down the screen really well. Instead of using the dry wipe though, I went straight for the microfiber cloth because I thought the dry wipe might be too abrasive for the plastic screen. After I finished drying the screen really well, I did some last looks for dust, then went for the screen protector. I peeled off the adhesive side and meticulously lined it up. The cutouts for the speakers made it really easy to line it up. Once it was lined up, I placed it down and watched it go to work. Then came the hard part, getting out the air bubbles. I was able to get most of the big ones out pretty easily, but there was one particularly stubborn air bubble down at the bottom right corner that gave me a really good fight. And I fought. And fought. And fought. The cardboard squeegee was too flimsy and didn't do the trick, so I grabbed a plastic card from my wallet and continued to work on it. I won't put you through what I went through, but just know this. It was a battle. I'm not too experienced with screen protectors and air bubbles, but for a screen protector that promises zero bubbles, it was determined to give me some. After what seemed like forever, I was able to vanquish the beast and my screen protector was finally on. Once it was in place and smoothed out, it looked great. It does have a pretty noticeable border due to the thickness of the glass, but if you line it upright, it isn't distracting and the glass feels solid. I definitely don't feel like I have to baby the screen as much anymore, and that's a nice feeling. And the screen displays just as it did before, with no noticeable loss of light or color. While I prefer the naked look of the Switch, I like the added protection and peace of mind that this screen protector provides. It's slick and sturdy. My only issue is that the included squeegee is extremely flimsy and not at all adequate for the job of pushing out those stubborn air bubbles. I haven't docked it yet because I've read that it's good to let the screen protector settle in at least overnight before subjecting it to the heat generated by the docked performance, or the adhesive may melt. And while I'll probably still choose the undocked option of playing on my TV, at least I'll know that if I do dock it, it won't scratch my screen. 